Thank you. Okay, I just want to make a, cor a correction. The original title was Unit Testing in 10 Minutes, Full Stop, and a Catapult. So that kind of changes the topic, but it's the same. Who here has never heard anything about unit testing? Raise your hands. Okay. Unit testing, or simply testing, means testing your software, okay? Who here has never heard the acronym TDD? Okay. TDD means test-driven development, but it's actually what you do every day, which is time-driven development, because you have got small time, so time is driving the way you develop. And I just wanted to make this pitch to clarify some terms that you might hear when you are referring to unit testing, or testing, simply. And I want to do that. I'm a back-end developer, so I spend most of my days working with PHP in the back-end of WordPress, and I can be boring as hell about this. I can go on for like five hours. I won't do that. And instead, I will use a metaphor. So say you've got a web agency, and your web agency has had a lot of funny proposals, small websites, big websites, and then you receive one very interesting proposal, which is you have to build a catapult, okay? Because, you, you know, you are a web agency, so that's the place to go when you want a catapult. And so why would you want to build a catapult? Because you have to throw a rock on the walls of a walled city, okay? So you try to think it out. How would you build a catapult? So you try to decompose the problem of building a catapult, which is essentially made of wood, probably. It's got a spoon, which is, key, which is holding like a rock, probably spherical. That rock has some way to be thrown at a distance, some distance, uh, to a city wall, okay? So I will try to use that metaphor of the catapult to explain you some terms. Like, so let's start with unit testing, okay? So right now I'm talking about what unit testing means to someone that actually does test-driven development. Unit testing means testing a small, single, independent, isolated unit of code. In coding terms, that might be a class or two or three functions together, okay? So in our metaphor, for example, the unit is a wheel, okay? You have, you know the catapult has got to be moved around because you can't build a catapult then say someone, okay, you can throw the rock from the web agency. You have to actually carry the catapult over to the place. So that catapult, uh, that wheel is going to be your unit. So how would you define a wheel? Well, a wheel has to roll. That's easy. Uh, probably the catapult is, is going to have four wheels. Uh, you're going to make up, okay, how much could a catapult weigh? So, so let's say a ton. So you've got four wheels, a catapult, which is going to weigh a ton. So each wheel has to be able to withstand a weight of a quarter of a ton, right? So you're slowly defining the requirements of the wheel. And you're taking the wheel into consideration. So once you've got a list of requirements, which is, for example, mm, okay, we could make it with wood, but you know what? It should probably be some way withstanding fire because probably the people on the wall is not going to be very happy with us throwing rocks and is going to, you know, fire something back. Accidentally, that firing back could contain fire, so you don't want your catapult to catch on fire. So you come up with a list of requirements, and what you do is that you write those requirements in a test and begin with something. Begin with something which is totally, utterly failing the test. Like you start with a log. Does the log roll? Yes. Does it send fire? No. Does it, ca can it withstand a quarter of a ton weight? No. Okay, so you iterate over your log. You work it, you take another log, you cut it out, you shape it, you reinforce it with iron, and slowly applying those tests, tests over and over to that wheel, you get to the point where you got a wheel which is, yes, can withstand the weight, Yes, it doesn't catch on fire just looking at it. And yes, it rolls, okay? So you get to the point where you have a wheel. And you do the same, so you test single finite units, 
one by one. So you will have a unit test for the rock, which has got to be spherical, because that's easier to load and rolls better when you throw it. And, and so on and so on for this launching spoon, okay? So the next step is that actually the wheel is not going to work alone. It has to work in concert with other, other components, okay? Probably a frame, uh, an arm, a spoon, the rock, some ropes, okay? That's integration testing. So when you hear the word integration testing, think of the catapult. It's not quite been built yet, but at least you know that the, the wheel has to work with a, a wheel arm, has to be attached to a frame. So you come up with new requirements, like, OK, the wheel has got to stay under the frame of the catapult, um, has got to work in concert with another wheel, which is going to be at the other end of the wheel train, uh, has got to roll at the same speed, so they've got to have the same resistance, and so on. And that's integration testing, okay? So unit testing, just the wheel. Integration testing, the wheel and the very next pieces the catapult is, is supposed to work with. Then you go on another level, because, you know, it's okay, wheels, wheel train, the frame, but we are actually building a functioning catapult. So the catapult, then you go to, into functional testing. Functional testing is you kind of assemble a prototype of the catapult, make some isolated tests. So, for example, you come up with a, you have a speed. You, you know that the harm has got to swing at a certain speed to actually be able to throw the rock because you made some calculation based on distance, the weight of the rock, the material, the walls you're hitting, and so on. And you come up with some criteria. You build a prototype of the catapult, and you try that out. And you make finite me measurements. So, OK, the speed is fine. Uh, it's easy to pull, so we can pull the catapult around and move it around. And that's called a functional testing, OK? So you need just the wheel. Integration is the wheel and probably the wheel train. Uh, functional testing is the whole thing together, probably not completely together, not completely working. The other step, the last one, is called acceptance testing. Acceptance testing is what you usually think about as unit testing. So when someone usually talks about unit testing, is actually speaking about acceptance testing, which is, as a user, when I get myself a catapult, I should be able to load it with a rock and throw it. That's very easy to understand. That's simulating the end user behavior, because the end user, which is actually the catapult crew, is actually going to do exactly that. Okay? As a catapult user, when I load it and throw the rock, the rock has to travel 400 meters. Why? Because the archers on the wall will throw at 300. So, you know, some safety measures. So, that's that, that's what you get, okay? So you come up with new requirements, acceptance requirements, and you finally crew the catapult. And that crew is going to be, for, in our case, in WordPress case, is going to be, for example, the web server, okay? And it's going to simulate the user, and so on. So I hope this example, which is, I know, extremely stupid, kind of clarifies uh, the, the, the noise and the confusion that often comes with the concept of testing, unit testing, integration testing, functional testing, acceptance testing. Just know what, you what you're talking about. Just know what you want to do. Just know that each one of these steps is going to be in one field. For example, unit testing and integration testing. So just the wheel, the wheel and the wheel train is probably going to be in the field of developers. Acceptance testing is probably being in the field of QA people because they could use a very plain English syntax to say things like, as a catapult crew, I want to be able to load the catapult. Functional testing could be both in the hands of QA people or tech-savvy people and developers. Okay, so that, that was it. I hope that helped you make some, have, have a, a better idea of what means what in uh, unit testing, acceptance testing, functional testing, and so on. Thank you.